and thank you, Professor Ismadi, thank you, Professor Askar and thank you all the participants. So, uh, I will discuss some fundamental uh, of the different kind of fuzzy sets. So, then we uh, uh, discuss some uh, basic uh, fuzzy sets, including uh, implicit fuzzy set, Pythagorean fuzzy set, Kura Rathopia fuzzy sets, and then linear definite fuzzy sets. Then we discuss some review about linear definite fuzzy topology. Then linear definite fuzzy application of vectors, vertical linear decision making, and some uh, aggregation of vectors uh, which have been developed so far. So a fuzzy set is simply uh, represented by a membership function and the membership function is a mapping from x to 0 1 closed interval uh, uh, where x is the universe of this course uh, we can say this is the set of objects or the set of elements under consideration and 0 1 closed interval uh, you can say is its uh, 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 domain, uh, core domain or the range set. So usually uh, we consider 0 1 closed interval because this set is uh, uh, closed and bounded. So uh, instead of taking the whole real line, uh, so 0 1 interval you can say this is a compact set and uh, this uh, set is why you can say this is homeomorphic to the real line R. So, uh, so anyone can take uh, 0 1 close interval instead of R. It can, the fuzzy set can be written in the three different uh, uh, forms. It can be written in the form of a set, it can be written in the form of a series, uh, if x is discrete, in, it can be written as an integral if the function is. Uh, the, the membership function is a continuous function. For example, here we have uh, a normal curve defined by mu of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x scale. So this is a normal curve. So in fact this is a fuzzy set and we say this is a fuzzy set near 0. An element which is near 0 will get higher membership. For example, if we put 0 in this function, we get 1, it means 0 has highest membership grade 1 and any number which is near 0, it may be positive or negative, it will get highest, uh, you can say membership grades and the number which go far from uh, uh, origin are 0, so that will, the membership will decrease. Similarly, there is another example of fuzzy set which is a young and which is a, a very young uh, these are two curves and these are parts of such uh, normal curve and uh, uh, the person uh, which is at the age of 27 uh, you, uh, you uh, can uh, be given uh, uh, a membership grade according to the uh, age, different ages of the uh, uh, persons. So these are basic fundamental operations on fuzzy sets. So, a fuzzy number is in fact a fuzzy set with the following conditions. Uh, it is convex, uh, the condition of convexity when we take any two points on this curve and the line segment joining them lies in the interior of the, uh, you can say, uh, the region. And similarly, it should be normalized. Normalized means there is at least one point x which has membership 1. For example, here the membership is 1. Its membership function is piecewise continuous. It may be continuous, it may be piecewise continuous. So, it is main thing is that it is defined on the real line. So, uh, here we have the whole real line uh, and the fuzzy number can be represented by three points A1, A2, A3. A1 where the membership is 0 and the membership will be uh, 0 uh, for all points which are less than A1 
and the number symbol is again zero for all points which are greater than a3. So uh, this is uh, uh, you can say piece by its definition of uh, a triangular fuzzy number. Uh, this is a triangular fuzzy number. It can be represented by a1 into a3, and these uh, values can be computed by simple you can say uh, equation of straight line. So then next we discuss some ideas of fuzzy modeling. Fuzzy modeling is computational intelligence approach and it is used in various fields. So uh, in fuzzy modeling we have to discuss about fuzzy sets, fuzzy rules, fuzzy inference and defuzzifications. There are some uh, well known uh, uh, you can say defuzzification methods. Uh, one of them is uh, developed for fuzzy washing machine. So uh, fuzzy washing machine is the best example of uh, you can say that the fuzzy fine data and deep fuzzy fine uh, where uh, the researchers have developed fuzzy logic controller and uh, the things like that. So there are many optimization techniques you can say uh, you are familiar with operation search techniques. So uh, these are techniques which are developed for uh, you can say real data and the people working on fuzzy sets are, are in computational intelligence so people are extending the techniques like that towards fuzzy sets, soft sets and rough sets. So uh, the, uh, main, the main idea behind these things is that we, we, we face some drawbacks of existing techniques and then we have to improve uh, these the existing techniques and we have to modify. In decision making techniques and uh, we have to uh, discuss, we have to use some uh, weight method. So there are many weight methods. So uh, uh, these weight methods can be extended to fuzzy sets and uh, its extensions. So a multi-criteria decision making technique is used where we have multiple options, you can say multiple objects, uh, often conflicting uh, criteria, multiple uh, uh, criteria and uh, multiple options. So we have to develop a ranking of uh, objects uh, under the uh, assessment of uh, uh, decision makers. So, uh, first we have multiple criteria, multiple options, and then decision maker preferences. So, the next thing is trades off. Uh, the key factors for trades off you can say limited resources, opportunity cost, balance act, etc., uncertainty. Uh, there are mathematical methods or you can say mathematical models which are important in multi-criteria decision making technique. Uh, some examples are uh, SIR method. So this is superiority, inferiority ranking method. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you can say, different from SIR method which is suspected, infected and recovered patients. Professor Fee uh, gave excellent talk yesterday. So uh, then we have to deal with some sensitivity analysis uh, to, to describe that our ranking is more uh, accurate. Uh, 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 you can say the, the result is you, uh, going to more accuracy. Uh, information aggregation is a very important tool in the uh, multi-criteria decision making. For example, if we have uh, multiple decision makers, they gave uh, decision matrices. So how we have to aggregate these matrices? So uh, aggregation operators, uh, you can say they are mappings from X and to X, where X is a collection of some fuzzy number, this is a collection of some, uh, you can say, equationistic fuzzy numbers and uh, uh, similar to that. Uh, then we have visualization and comparative analysis. So these are the steps for a 
uh, you can say a reasonable or you can say approximate uh, reasonable uh, decision making approach. Uh, we use some criteria and attributes in decision making techniques. So there is a difference between you can say criteria and attributes. For example, if we are choosing a candidate for job, we might have criteria education, qualification, work, experience, communication skills, etc. But the attribute is, uh, you can say, uh, a, uh, is, a, is a thing like, uh, for example, we are uh, dealing with some product and we are interested in its color, size, weight, functionality. For example, we, are, uh, we have to purchase some home appliances, mobile phones, laptop, etc. Then we have to be uh, attributes. So, uh, Atanaso proposed the idea of intuition frequency sets in which we have two, uh, you can say, functions or mappings. Uh, mu is the mapping, uh, which is called uh, membership, uh, uh, you can say, membership function, and mu is the mapping, which is called non membership functions. So, uh, there are, you can say, actual in the uh, geometrical meaning of these uh, uh, things. Uh, for example, if intuitionistic fuzzy number is written as 0.45 and 0.30, so it means that the CN maker has assigned a number, you can say, uh, in the 0, 01 square, uh, in which uh, this number has interpretation that uh, the, the CN maker is in the 45% of the favor in favor of the candidate you can say 30 percent against so this is the 30 percent against but there is a you can say hesitancy so hesitancy can be obtained by taking uh, the formula uh, uh, 1 minus mu minus mu so this you can say in intuitionistic you can add them and then subtract it from 1 so uh, the idea of uh, score function is used for the ranking of uh, intuitionistic fuzzy numbers or any other fuzzy number. So, uh, Shen and Tang gave the idea of score function for intuitionistic fuzzy numbers. So, uh, we have to define, uh, we, we can discuss, uh, you can say, uh, partial ordering uh, with the help of uh, score functions. Score function may be defuzzify the data into real numbers and then we uh, can use the usual order. So, uh, similarly, uh, there are numbers which have same score function. So, we have to use the idea of accuracy function. So, Hong and Koi in 2000 gave the idea of uh, accuracy function for intuitionist per number. For example, we consider one decision maker and we have some objects say x1, x2, up to x5, these are the students, these are the intuitionistic fuzzy numbers, uh, 0.45 membership, 0 0.30 non-membership, we compute the score functions and then we can give the ranking. So this is a simple case, we have not considered any criteria, attribute and other things. Later, Yager proposed the idea, idea of Pythagorean fuzzy sets the elements and the sets are exactly same as intuitionistic, but there is a uh, restriction on the membership and non-membership. So, in fact, this is extension of intuitionistic fuzzy sets. So, I will compare these things in the diagram. Uh, for example, uh, if the intuitionistic fuzzy number mu and mu lies in, the, in this region, uh, this is the triangular region, so these numbers are intuitionistic fuzzy number and there is a Pythagorean fuzzy number, you can say the, the lines which is, uh, you can say green, this is the part of, uh, you can say, uh, say, say circle, uh, or you can say center of the circle and similarly, we, when we extend the value of Q, we have some, you can say, uh, these are like uh, uh, orbits. So, we are in fact giving freedom to the decision makers uh, in uh, ranking of uh, objects. 
So, uh, so this is a comparative chart. Uh, intuition sick fuzzy side assign only membership function. Intuition sick fuzzy side deal with membership and non membership with the condition that the sum of the membership and non membership lies, uh, you can say, between 0 and 1. But intuition sick fuzzy side cannot deal with mu plus mu greater than 1. Similarly, Pythagorean fuzzy set deal with the, into, uh, the numbers mu mu uh, such that mu square plus mu square is less than 1 but it cannot deal with the numbers which are mu square plus mu square greater than 1. So, similarly we have Fermatian fuzzy sets and the last we have linear Dagnatine fuzzy numbers. So, in case of linear Dagnatine fuzzy numbers we have mu mu which are membership and non-membership and then we have alpha and beta. Alpha and beta give the, you can say, credibility or reliability of the membership and non-membership functions. So, uh, you can say this is the uh, generalization of uh, these existing uh, fuzzy sets. So, uh, a linear definite and fuzzy set can be written as uh, one ordered pair of mu mu and one ordered pair of alpha and beta. So we can define the absolute value uh, of linear definite fuzzy set. In, in case of intuition, we have one zero as uh, uh, e, uh, one, we assign one zero. Here we, we assign two times one zero and in case of uh, you can say absolute, we have zero one. Uh, and uh, this is an example of linear definite fuzzy set. Uh, for example, we are dealing with medicines, then we assign membership, non-membership, and you, you, we can use the physical meanings of uh, alpha and beta as good impact on medicine, uh, or against, uh, good impact against infection, or less side effects, and uh, similarly beta. In case of candidates, we can, uh, we can give Alpha and beta as uh, you can say you qualified, not qualified, young, not young and uh, like that. So these are basic fundamental operations of linear definite and fuzzy sets. Uh, and these operations are closed in 0, 1 scale. Uh, and this is an example. Then we define linear definite and fuzzy topology. This is the idea similar to Chris topology or general topology. Uh, the null set is replaced by null linear definite fuzzy set and the whole set X is replaced by absolute linear definite fuzzy set and similarly we check the uh, intersection, finite intersection. Uh, here we are dealing with, uh, you can say, finite universe. So uh, uh, we check the union and intersection and uh, we construct, uh, you can say, linear definite fuzzy topology. This is an example. This is a linear definite fuzzy set and this is another linear definite fuzzy set. So this is an example of, uh, you can say this is null, this is absolute, these are two uh, uh, linear definite fuzzy sets. So this is the example of topology. Then we construct the interior, flowing here, front here, limit points, basis. Uh, we can check its, uh, you can say, separation axiom properties. So linear definite fuzzy topology is a host of topology. So then we have some score functions for uh, the uh, linear definite and fuzzy numbers. Now we come to the idea of aggregation operators. So Harsatai gave the idea of, uh, uh, you can say, aggregation of real numbers in Rn. So a weighted averaging operator uh, where a1, a2, an are real numbers. So this is the formula for weighted averaging. So this is just like arithmetic mean in statistics. So in, uh, in statistics we have sigma weighted mean. So this is similar. So because the sum of the weight is 1, so we, we cannot divide by 1. So when we extend this idea to fuzzy sets, so we have to just use the uh, addition and scalar multiplication which is defined in any fuzzy sets. So people can extend uh, uh, aggregation operators to multiple fuzzy sets. But there is the idea of uh, you can say T norm and T co norms. So these are ideas which are helpful in construction of 
uh, different aggregation of breakers. So uh, the main idea behind is that uh, we we face some drawbacks in the existing aggregation operators and we cover these at, uh, with the help of new, uh, you can say, extension of uh, aggregation operators. So, uh, first we develop linear dipetyl aggregation operators. So, this is an example of linear dipetyl weighted geometric aggregation operators. So, many other aggregation operators have been developed so far. So. Uh, uh, this is a short list of uh, uh, aggregation operators for linear dipentine versus X. And people can extend these operators to other, uh, you can say, fuzzy sets. So I have short time. So these are this. But alpha and beta is giving the credibility or reliability of the membership. For example, uh, you can say there are different kinds of decision makers. So you can say alpha and beta assign you a, a further, uh, you can say, uh, uh, numbers uh, to, to check the uh, accuracy of uh, rank, uh, you can say, decision making process. So. Uh, as I already told that there are different drawbacks of the existing techniques, so uh, uh, people are trying to extend these techniques to cover these drawbacks. So uh, uh, a short example is that, for example, min and max are, simple, are also aggregation operators. So if we take the max of membership and min of non-membership, so uh, it, it may be aggregation, but it, it is not a smooth aggregation. Uh, yes, sir. I have one question that uh, if you check the convexity property in linear type of line, yes, yes, uh, as I normality. Uh, yes, we check both normality, uh, we check normality uh, as well as convexity. Uh, you can say this is the definition for a linear dipentine fuzzy number. You can say, you can check it. This is the convexity condition. We check alpha and mu, alpha into mu plus beta into mu lies between 0 and 1, and the alpha and beta, their sum is between 0 and 1. So if you take beta is equal to 1 minus alpha, so this is exact equation of, uh, you can say, convex combination. So, can he ask a question? Do you have time? Yes, sure. I'm sorry. So, sir, if you replace this set into some of the bright structure, so can we move forward and do some study? Yes, there are some uh, Java structures which have been developed so far. Uh, one professor from Turkey uh, 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 gave the uh, fundamental algebraic structures of linear dipentine fuzzy sets, and in the same paper, he gave some, uh, you can say, results of cryptography. He created uh, new codes uh, for cipher, and this is excellent paper. Anyone can study. The title is Linear Dipentine Fuzzy Algebraic Structures. So uh, that professor has extended this set towards uh, cryptography. So uh, Professor Shabir. Uh, wrote a paper on linear dipentine uh, relations. So he has uh, extended, this PhD student extended uh, this side towards uh, uh, medical diagnosis. Thank you, Professor. And now I call Mr. Abdul Rauf 